Hello, my name is Dustin Benny. I'm an Applications Engineer here with Renesis Electronics. We're very proud to be here today to show you this vehicle that we've developed. So this is one of our autonomous driving development platforms. And we've designed these vehicles to work with both OEMs and Tier 1s to work on advanced projects and the development of autonomous vehicles. Now we've equipped this vehicle with many powerful sensors necessary for autonomous driving, including these LiDARs that are actually built into the side mirrors. Uh, we also have six other LiDARs located around the perimeter of the vehicle. We also have five radars. Uh, four of them are actually embedded into the bumpers, and one is actually our long-range radar in the front bumper as well. Uh, we have dedicated forward-facing cameras, driver monitor cameras, surround view cameras, uh, onboard IMUs, and dedicated short-range communication antennas for V2X communications. Now what we've done is we've routed all of that sensor data into very powerful Renesis SOCs located in the trunk. Now using these SOCs, we can actually run autonomous driving applications such as sensor fusion, a lane and pedestrian detection, facial recognition and driver monitoring, even surround view applications, including V2X. Now let's head to the rear of the vehicle and check out some of the high performance silicon that Renesis has actually put into this vehicle. So here you can actually see three of our latest, most high performance SOCs uh, in our R car family of SOCs, including uh, our V2X chip that's actually situated in the middle of them. Uh, so what we've actually done is all of the camera inputs are actually on a single SOC, whereas the forward-facing camera and the sensor fusion are actually handled on these two uh, side SOCs. Uh, the reason why we have uh, two to handle both forward-facing camera and sensor fusion uh, is for redundancy. So if, say, we were to fail a single sensor or even an entire board, the vehicle would still have the ability to pull safely to the side of the road. Basically, everything you're going to be seeing within this vehicle is driven off a single H3 processor. Uh, on the top third of this view, uh, you're seeing actually four Valio cameras located around the vehicle. Basically, what we can do is, using the fisheye lenses of these Valio cameras, we're able to de-warp these images and do corner detection around the vehicle so that we're actually given uh, a seamless view around the vehicle using this 360 view. Now, the important thing to remember is when you're actually looking at this is this com is completely offloaded of the GPU and the CPU. This is only using IMR peripheral, uh, known as the, the image rendering. So when we actually do enable a GPU in this vehicle, we actually can have a, a much more extensive view around the vehicle. What we're actually able to do is 360 pedestrian detection around the vehicle once we actually enable GPU within this. So really what you're seeing here is uh, an enhanced blind spot and um, vehicle parking assist. So what we've, what we've also done in the, the top part of the screen, we actually have a mirror replacement. Not only that, uh, but we've also added to this vehicle a driver monitor camera with facial recognition. So if you see the red dots of my eyeballs, even, even with glasses, I can actually do eye tracking, uh, face tracking, gesturing. So on top of that, we also have uh, interaction with both uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can have uh, real-time navigation, even have most of your, your phone's functionality within this HMI system that we've built for the vehicle. We also have our own uh, media player of whether it's uh, music or even you have the ability to watch video on this interface as well. Uh, here today we're demonstrating a couple different applications using DSRC technology and our V2X chip in the back. Uh, so you can imagine hundreds of parking spots uh, in a given parking lot. Uh, today we have three ultrasonic sensors monitoring three of those parking spots. And essentially, uh, what we can do is just using a simple PLC, we can actually broadcast that information of whether it's uh, occupied or unoccupied within a given space. So as you can see on the map here, uh, we have an open space to the middle on our left. But as I back out of this spot, that, in that information can actually be broadcasting using DSRC. So the spot is occupied, and now it's indicated green as available. Now overhead to the right, uh, we have actually a traffic light set up so that even though the traffic light is red right now, as I proceed towards this light, the light will actually recognize and give a visual cue to the driver, such as that, and it actually extends the light uh, so that we can actually safely pass through the intersection. So not only with the traffic light, what we've also done is we've set certain zones around this demo space. So for this front stretch right here, I've uh, set a 10 mile an hour speed limit. Uh, if the driver exceeds that speed limit, the driver is visually notified that you need to reduce your speed. 
So we set up a construction zone over here. So even, even before I enter into the zone, the driver is actually alerted of an upcoming uh, road work ahead with a reduced speed limit of five miles an hour. So now if I exceed past that five miles an hour, that same visual warning is transmitted to the driver. So as I approach this vehicle, you'll see on the screen that the driver can actually be alerted of an imminent collision. We're very excited to continue to work with OEMs and Tier 1s to continue to make vehicles safer for everyone. Thank you.